What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome to VV Investments. On today's episode, we're talking about Cavernous' most recent release article. We have eight updates to discuss. So if you guys are interested in finding out what those are, make sure to stay tuned. We discuss them all in this episode. Now, over the past few weeks, Cavernous did release some updates to their platform. For those who are not aware, Cavernous is the one developing the VBverse, so I think it is fair to assume that any updates made to Cavernous are things we can see in the VBverse. There's going to be eight updates that I want to highlight with the article, so with that being said, let's hop into the first one. So the first update that they have listed on the article is going to be real-time visual experiences. So they say they made major updates to their hollow rendering and property settings. And as a result, this delivers true to life visual immersion and interaction, powering digital twins, virtual worlds, and much more. Now, digital twins are gonna be virtual representations of real world objects, processes, or systems. So they're created using data gathered from sensors, devices, or other sources, which are then fed into digital models or simulations. So we've talked about it in the past about creating your own room to track your stocks and the price of OMI and things like that. That would be an example of a digital twin. So it mirrors the physical counterpart in almost real time, allowing for monitoring and analysis. Now I mentioned they made some updates to their hollow rendering and properties. What are these specific updates? So they're gonna make some updates to their materials, shaders, animations, and sounds. So it looks like those are four categories we can expect. Uh, materials would be like, you know, concrete, granite, wood, things like that. Shaders we've actually talked about in the past with asset packs, textures, right? So a brick wall, wood floor, stuff like that. Animations can mean preloaded animations for certain objects, but we also know that Cavernous provides the option of creating your own animations as well. And then sound effects, the particles and property system combined to deliver incredible looking and true to life experiences. Enjoy the freedom to design completely custom experiences that look, feel, and interact the way you want with ease. Now it does also look like they've made an update to their content journey, which they say makes it easier than ever to manage content with smart new functionality. So there's toggles for filtering content to intuitively find critical data. And with their white labeling service, which is the service that Vivi uses to brand their own virtual space as the Viviverse, brands can actually make their own content filters as well. So Vivi does have the ability to create their own filters for the Viviverse. Now they also say that included in this content journey is the ability to see file details with the addition of the new information icon. So now you apparently have the ability to toggle between the details view, the list view, or the icon view whenever you need to make reference to the details or size of your content. They also say that importing content into your scene got a whole lot easier and seamless as well. They now have something called the insert file ability which allows you to drop the content directly into a space. White label customers, which again, in this case is going to be Vivi, can also take it up a notch and set up custom logic plus roles and policies to determine how the content library operates across their teams or community groups. They've now introduced a new roles and policy system, which allows you to customize your cavernous experience a little bit more. You can create and assign roles at the organizational level. You can manage these roles in every space from easily adding members to quickly removing them. Any role UI changes are instantly enforced. And then some roles are going to include explorer, creator, and commentator. So an explorer is going to be somebody who can walk around the space without being able to edit, change, or move things around. A creator pretty much has free will. They can walk around, they can click on things, edit them, change things. They can take things away, add stuff, pretty much do whatever they want. And then you can also be a commenter, which you'll see a video example of on screen. Now they also say that any administrator can invite a space member to their space with a specific setting for what functionality you want them to have. Now they do also say for white label brands that you can now create your very own roles and policies outside of what they offer by default. So this means that there's even more opportunities now for how you can envision gamification, community social experiences, virtual production teams, creative agencies, and more. Now they also say they have a new gizmo scaler, which enables you to scale with just one click. You click and drag to find the perfect size, and apparently you can also change modes between enforcing one-to-one -one changes, or scale just one side or select parts of that object. 
they've made updates to their global navigation and they say it brings all the power to one place so your tools your property panels your object list your property settings and much more are now all more intuitive with tool tips for more detailed information so it sounds to me here like they're just polishing the user experience a little bit they've made updates to their user panels so just a little disclaimer for you guys the image on the right hand side there is not going to be their user panel uh, that's just going to be their main menu which they've also made updates to but if you guys remember the vvverse unveiling dan had a user panel that was in his home space that showed all the active users in his home space and in this case that's what they're referring to here so they've updated it for a more streamlined and dynamic experience to connect in the best way possible i don't entirely know what that means and they didn't give any photo examples so i can't really provide them for you guys but what I can say is I think it's safe to assume that what we saw in the VVverse for the user panel, it probably looks different now. Now they also say that they provide more intuitive XR UI. XR is going to stand for mixed reality. So an all new user friendly UI makes it easy to connect and create in the metaverse. It apparently gives you access to a complete voice, video and screen share experience all in one. So you can easily find your content and quickly add it to a space. And then they also say that you can create and share in spatial 3D in real time. And last but not least, for those who care about security, which everyone should, they've now introduced something called an OpenID Connect support. So authenticate your way and easily integrate your preferred single sign-on solution with OpenID. OpenID joins Cavernous support for multi-factor authentication, a system for cross-domain identity management, assertion markup language, an active directory to empower enterprise grade authentication, user and group access management security. To make a longer story short, to sum that up and simplify it, security equals thumbs up. Ladies and gents, that's gonna conclude today's episode. I know it was a short one, but bear with me because I will be releasing another Cavernous video that recaps the big announcement they're gonna be making in the coming week or so. Those are gonna be eight updates that Cavernous has recently made to their platform again. Cavernous is creating the VVverse, so each update that I listed in today's video, I think it's safe to assume will apply to the VVverse. As for content next week, one video you guys can't expect is going to be a recap of VV Magic's interview with Dan. As for our second interview, that is still to be decided. So if you guys are interested in finding out what that is going to be, make sure to tune in next week. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see in a future episode. As for our next, I'll catch you then.